Harry Ozul says, in the elite trust, how is the legacy trust structured to prevent gold diggers and heirs being spendthrifts? So in the elite trust, it's going to be pretty easy, Harry. The details of the beneficiary are right there in the trust. And remember that once you switch over to the elite trust, all the power shifts. So in a land trust, the beneficiary has all the power and the trustee has none, meaning that the trustee does have the deed to the property, but they are that uh, sale of the property or mortgage of the property or anything else is subject to the power of direction contained in the beneficiary. But when you flip the script and go to the elite trust, the elite trust, all the power resides with the trustee and no power resides with the beneficiary. So as a result, gold diggers who might uh, marry a beneficiary of the trust, they can't touch a dime in the trust. They can't touch a penny in the trust. Only the trustee determines who gets what and under what circumstances. So that very much can be written into the trust uh, in that you're giving directions to the trustee, uh, but otherwise the beneficiary has no power 